So today we will discuss about the exponential decay model, how the model is formulated, whatever equation it forms, and we will try to solve the equation using MATLAB and we will try to plot the graph to show the behavior of the equation. So first of all let us look into the equation. This equation. So this equation, uh, you can go through it. So how it is formulated, you can see from there. So you, we will use this initial value problem, so IVP. Initial value problem. You can go through the books also. So or anywhere you can get how, how it is formed. So let us use this equation initial value problems and we will use MATLAB to solve this initial value problems to get its uh, numerical solutions so let us try to write code for this problem okay so let's go from up like here so I got this so let's start change so this is the equation so this is variable k so in any equation so it will be given uh, this rate rate of chance k okay so and the initial initial values so this is the equation so this k will be given and it and not and not this n not value will be given okay, this is the solution of the value of n at time zero and not will be given to you so you know, will take uh, an equation here so okay and node is given as 2 divided by 5 and k. The rate is given as 2.0 minus 2. So let's go from that left. Mm, okay, so we given k is equal to 2. This is the value of k. So okay, now we given a condition. So what is condition? Condition, let's take it condition 1. Going to n, we look at time zero. Two, three, four, five, six. So you have this value. <coughs> that means initial value. So now, so we have. So, now if you run this, you will get the solution of this. Uh, not this one, you will get the solution of this differential and uh, that means this initial value problems where k is given in the equation and initial n node is given in the equation. So this this equation. So now okay, let us try to simplify it once again. So that it can so it becomes easy for us to plot um, to let us simplify the error solution so okay, fine and so two so this also um, okay then go on or and to the right and to the right here now uh, let us run let's try to run this okay, so 
You see, you put the solution here. You have to answer is this and this. So now we'll try to find out the value uh, of this solution n t at different times, and we'll try to float with respect to time, so such that we can see the behavior of the solution at different times. So let us consider a set of time. So how we write this? T is equal to this starting where time is zero well now let us increase with one okay one uh, first of all let us take up to ten okay this is just time so let us take y is equal to nt so this nt this is the nt this is the solution this is the solution of the initial value problem and uh, now we will use this nt here so uh, it will this t will take the value from this set of time Okay, this is it. So why already is not required to write this. So now let us plot this. Plot G this to Y. So let us see how. Let us run it. Okay, you see, you got this. This is the graph. So this is the graph. Time goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, increasing with 1 and goes up to 10. So, with respect to this time, so this is the decay, this is the solution of n, this is the solution of n, this is the solution. Right? So, you got the solution. So, with a different time now, at time 1, 2, 3, up to 10, so it will give different value. So, these are the values. Now, if you increase this time, so you get 200. So, let us see what it gives. Okay, now let us. Okay, you see, we got here. You see, 0, 10, 20. Time is coming up to 100. So, at different times, the value is the value of n is different. The value of n is different. So, you can see, you can see the graph diminishing slowly as time increases. So, this is the solution for the initial value problem, or this is the numerical solution for the initial value problem of exponential decay model. Uh, Instead, you can also use analytical method to solve this. Uh, analytical method to solve this. Analytical method to solve this. Uh, where it will be given and n naught and uh, k. After solving this, after getting the idea analytical solutions, so you can use that solution. It is empty here. Directly putting n t equal to up to you, n t equal to you will get. So, after you take the time set t, y is equal to n t, y is equal to the same condition, but you know how it becomes easy to solve the initial value problems using MATLAB. So, directly we have used here usual method to solve the original differential equation using initial conditions, and after getting the initial solution of the IBP so you can use it taking different set of time to plot the solution so this is the solution okay so to, uh, let us take it to 20 okay so it becomes visible for us okay, let us run it this is the graph this is the graph you can see the solution as well so this is the time 0, 1, 2, 3, time goes up to 20 and at different times you will get different set of uh, solution where it is at 0, this at time 1 you will get this value, this value, this value so with respect to different value and time so we could this graph, this set of times and this is the value of n so this is the solution, so this, this, this whole is the decay model is the uh, you can see the behavior of the decay model or exponential decay model so this is the things you need to learn so this is the code i think you have understood it so go through it properly any queries you can ask okay thank you